This is a 75th anniversary power wagon fully equipped with a Carly kit and 37s. Check it out. We got something a little different today in the shop. We have a power wagon. It's a very rare truck to have up in BC. You get taxed to hell and back because it's a 2500, not a 3500. Apparently this can't be a work truck. And it's not just any power wagon. It's a 75th anniversary power wagon. The interior of this thing is beautiful. We'll show you that later. What are we gonna put in this? Well, there's no better option on the market than a Carly suspension. So obviously, Carly's known for using Kings, so that's what we're gonna do. These are Carly specifically tuned King shocks for this. Longer sway bar links. We've got a diff bash guard. We've got a drop so we can lower the skid plates down a bit and reinforce them to be stronger. We've got sway bar drops, track bar drop brackets, bump stops, machine, like look at the machining on this for a bump stop extension. Some people don't put this much effort into a heart monitoring machine. So we've got coils, fronts are for the power wagon. They're gonna give you two inches of lift over the factory lift. This power wagon's already come lifted two inches. The rear coils, we went with the R2 version, which is designed to carry more weight than the other set of lift coils because he does have a smart cap on the back and he likes to go off-roading and camping. So we're gonna give him a little bit more payload capacity. Uh, all the brackets to make all that work. In here, in this magical box, look at that. That is massive. What are we gonna keep on the vehicle that we normally get rid of? We're not going to replace this radius arm. Though we could get one that's a lot beefier, this one has the articulate system in it. So it'll get more flex off-road when the sway bar is disconnected because the Rubik, or this is basically a Rubicon Ram 2500. It has a electronic sway bar disconnect, lockers front and rear. It's just a giant tank. Oh, and Mike, uh, please cut off this when you get a chance so we don't have this yep. rando one hanging there. Yeah. Don't leave randos hanging around. Don't leave okay. randos zip ties. No, no randos allowed? No, no randos. randos. No We're randos not that type. This is a family show, Mike. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Jesus. Some people watch the Sunday mornings. This happened really quickly. I apologize we didn't get more video clips for you. Krakens need to put together. You guys kept ordering and we had to get them out. That's simple. So, the truck's completed minus putting the wheels and tires on, which will show you that, and at least you get to see what it does. But. In the front here, you'll see, we did things a little different than if this was a 3500 that came in, we'd order a lot of other parts from Carly, but because it's a power wagon, we wanna maintain the essence that is the badassness that is a Rubicon truck. We didn't change the sway bar because it electronically disconnects for more flexi flexi, something most trucks can't do. So we get around here, we've got a whole new set of coils. These are big, big badass set of coils, not to mention the massive King Shock that has been specifically valved for the power wagon by Carly. Like I said about the, the big Cummins truck, if we had got one of those big bro trucks, we would have changed this out, but instead we kept it because it has the Articulink. We did, however, put these massive drop brackets in which allow for the geometry change and a much better ride quality. So you'll notice in here, we've got a beautiful piece of billet aluminum because why not just put more billet aluminum on things? It's so fancy. So it's here actually to bring down the skid plate slightly for clearance, but also now if this gets hit, it has a solid piece holding it so it doesn't just collapse on itself. What that also does though, what that I found out is that this actually helps give clearance to the drive shaft as well. I figured it looked like there was, it's got clearance right now, but we are fully hanging. Yeah. So if you have this in the air like this, you're either having a lot of fun or in for a lot of trouble. We've got a bunch of brackets all over the place to properly hold the e-brake cables where they need to go. Massive set of King shocks again, extended sway bars links. And then we have these massive coils and not just 
massive. These are meant to carry a lot more weight load. These are the Carly R2 coils for this application. And if you go on their website, they'll show you the differences with payloads sitting in the bed, how it sit. So this guy's already got a smart cap. They're a little bit of a heavy canopy and he likes to go off-roading and camping so he can carry his gear no problem or tow a boat, whatever. Drop the track bar down. This allows us to keep the uh, all the geometry where it needs to go. We've got the Carly bump stop extension. Yet again, another beautiful piece of billet aluminum machined and anodized and laser etched. God, I wish everything was machined, anodized and laser etched. <laughs> God, it's so much nicer. But realistically, you don't have to do as much to this power wagon because it already came out of the box more capable than any other truck you could buy. So this is just lifting it, I think, two inches front, one inch rear over stock power wagon height, which I think power wagons, if I remember correctly, come lifted two inches above all Ram 2500s from factory, which is why you can pretty much stuff a 35 on it without doing anything. But we are gonna stuff 37s because who has time to drive on 35s? These are the Power Wagon beadlock capable wheels. So we had to disassemble them just to mount them to put the trim ring back on and balance it accordingly. But these tires balance amazing. These are the new Toyo Open Country AT3s. Snowflake rated and everything. These will take on pretty much anything you need. If you want deep mud, then you're gonna want to do a different tire. But for everyday driving, trails, rock crawling, this these will do fine and they're E-rated, which is great for a 2,500 weight of truck. And they took next to no weight to balance these things, which is always a bonus on our shop supply pocketbook. Remember folks, always buy good rubber. This thing is beautiful. Not just beautiful, it drives phenomenal now. I didn't get to drive it beforehand, but I did own one years ago. But this, this Carly suspension feels great. It is not a 1500. Like this is definitely a heavy duty truck. It has that feel, it has that Jeep feel because there's solid axles and the steering is a radius arm tie rod setup. You feel it all, which also gives me the confidence less stuff's gonna break. I don't think this diff is gonna crack and fall out. But then we've got all these switches down here. We can do sway bar disconnects, two wheel drive, four high, four low, lockers front, front rear. Like, this is phenomenal. Like, this is so comfortable and I have air conditioned seats on right now. So there's less of a chance I'm gonna glue myself to the chair in a heat wave. <laughs> it's phenomenal. In the traditional sense of overlanding, or as we like to joke, but seriously call it overloading, this is the vehicle most of these people need. Like it has all the bells and whistles to get you stuck or unstuck. It already is loaded with a 12,000 pound winch in the front, uh, which is said to pull even more than that, but it's all integrated to the factory warranty. And it can carry a much bigger payload than your average Tacoma, Forerunner, Jeep, Gladiator, any of those vehicles. And a lot of Overlanders never think of the fact that all the weight and toys they keep bringing with them is the detriment to their vehicle. It makes it unsafe. It won't stop as fast. It won't accelerate as fast. Everything's getting worn out faster because it has way more weight than it was ever engineered to carry. But a vehicle like this and I know the power wagon has less of a payload than like a regular 2500 or 3500, but it's a really good starting point. Best of both worlds, really. And you can have, you could, if you wanted the power, like we don't have the power wagon coils in anymore that limited the uh, payload. We have Carly's coils that are, uh, that we've got the R2 ones that'll carry more weight. And this truck's braking is the same as a regular 25, 3500. So the braking is just as good as if you were towing like probably like a really heavy trailer. So all that makes this a much safer, capable option as long as width isn't your problem. So if you're down in the States, 
you're wheeling in the desert in Death Valley, you're doing some trails in Moab, Anza Borrego, Nevada, you'll have no problem at all as long as you, you know, plan ahead of time where you're going and make sure that you have the width to make it through it because that's the only thing that will stop this truck is the width. But on a plus side, I have a button right there that'll make my mirrors fold in. <laughs> so that'll help. That's a few inches on each side. Looking for an epic Jeep or Ram? Give us a call.